All right, so we're gonna continue these series of services with our Employee Recognition and Awards Program. Everybody full? But is everybody awake? All right, now, if y'all don't wake up, I'm gonna have to sing and wake you up, okay? All right. <laughs> All right, but this time has been set aside to recognize employees for their years of service, as well as those who have gone above and beyond the call of duty outside of their normal day-to-day -day activities. To show our appreciation for your continued service, we added a small treat for the employees who have been here for 10 years or more. Um, but through random selection, we've also decided to award many others just to let you know that we see you in your daily endeavors, we thank you for your hard work and dedication, and we hope you know how much your presence makes a difference within the EGSC community. Um, once we've presented completing these awards, um, I'll call the names of the additional winners. Um, you must be present to win, okay? Um, if, you're not, if you are selected and you're not present, we'll pick someone else to go, into, go in your place, okay? And this is the treat that's happening from three to five in the rotunda, okay? And the treat is you're gonna get a free five minute massage. I know, just to make you mad and just, you know. Hey, but it's five minutes of relaxation that you know you don't normally get around here, okay? All right. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start off by recognizing our employees who have dedicated their time and talents to East Georgia State College for the past five, 10, 15, and 20 plus years, all right? So as they come, as you come, please come up to the, my right, your left side of the stage, okay? And receive your certificate from Dr. Bomer and our HR Director, Ms. Tracy Woods, okay? All right, start off for our five years. You've been here for five years and we thank you so much. Armand Boudreaux. Woo! And I'm gonna try to call fast so we're not here all day, okay? Josephus. Darlene Dickens. Andre Drummer. Raymond Hayes. Sherry Helms. Leroy Jordan. <laughs> Candace Lynn. Luke Martin. Deborah Cottrell Michael. Michael Moran. It's okay. Sheila Mosley. Karen Murphy. Yes, Karen, you've been here for five years. You've been Check my list. Check my list. Victor Poole. Jacqueline Rogers. B. Scott. <laughs> Amelia Simmons. Ruth Underwood, and Gail Watson. You check my list. I don't remember seeing your name.
All right, for our 10-year services, service awards, excuse me. And for the 10 years on up, again, as I mentioned earlier, you will see a little certificate on your, um, another coupon on top of your certificate, okay? Um, your time has already been scheduled for this afternoon, so your name and time is on your coupon, okay? All right, starting off, Brenda Cruz for 10 years of service. LaCrystal Fulgen. Elizabeth Gilmer. Courtney Joyner. Miss Leontine Leader. Deborah Lee. Carmine Palumbo. Jessica Todd. Sebastian Verdes. <laughs> Mino Vora. Mary Whitaker. Amanda Williams. Ashley Woods, <laughs> Tracy Woods, <laughs> and last but not least, Fang Z. All right, for our 15 years of service, Larry Brady. Paul Serpovich. Michelle Goff. And Dee McKinney. You're welcome. All right, for our 20 years of service, we have two. Alan Brasher. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and Sandra Sharman. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> All 
All right. The next award was designed to acknowledge our employees who have done an exceptional job at providing service to the institution, being a team player, having a positive attitude even in difficult situations, and has shown themselves to be reliable, which makes them a star employee in their department. These awards will be presented by their department vice presidents and directors. So as I call your name, please come forward. And we will start with the president's office being presented by Dr. Bomer. The president's office this year recognizes Susan Gray for her excellence. Susan, would you come on up? <laughs> what I'd like to say about Susan is that she started at East Georgia State College in 1990, and she has been here continuously since 1990. Uh, I would hazard a guess that she knows everyone in this room, and she knows your spouse, and she knows your children, and she doesn't just know your name, she knows about you, and uh, you are important to her. So I think the most uh, notable thing I can say about Susan is just how much she loves East Georgia and uh, how much she respects and loves uh, each member of this community. I'd also say that one of the aspects of this award uh, that was just mentioned is a person that has to deal with uh, difficult situations with a positive attitude. And I'd say that I'm probably exhibit A. <laughs> so I think that that is uh, worth uh, being mentioned. She has, uh, over the years, dealt with more difficult calls, more stressful situations, more time deadlines, more need for complete accuracy uh, when the time didn't even provide time to be accurate. And she has simply never dropped the ball one time. I don't know anyone that works as hard as Susan or that uh, loves this special place as much as she does. So she really deserves this award. And I'm going to, for an unusual reason, ask Susan to speak to you briefly today as well. Susan? Oh, by the way, I'm supposed to give you this. Thank you, Dr. Bummer. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. I must have been busy these last 29 years. <laughs> and this is the first time I've spoke to all of you as a group, too. Um, almost 29 years ago, I joined East Georgia State College, and I am excited to announce that I will be retiring at the end of December. Although I will miss working with you all, I sincerely believe in our mission and will continue to support East Georgia State College as an EGSC retiree. Many changes and a lot of growth has occurred since I began my career here, but I am proud to say students have always come first. I am especially grateful for the friendships I've made over the years, and I wish each of you the best as you continue to work hard to provide an excellent college experience for our students. The work is not easy, but our rewards are abundant as we help make dreams happen. Thanks for a lot of great memories, and I look forward to seeing what's next for the college. Next, for academic affairs and student affairs, we'll have this presentation made by Dr. Vess. Well, 
Hello, everyone. I'd like to start with the award for student affairs. This person, um, and this may be a little bit of a tough speech, this person is always at the center of every conflict and every conduct issue on campus. <laughs> and so while you might think this is the least appropriate person for an award, she's really the most appropriate person. She handles these very difficult issues for us on a daily basis. I'm convinced she really has the hardest job on campus. She handles those issues with professionalism, with skill, with diplomacy, uh, incredible knowledge. She's also a person who is always willing to help. She always says to me on nearly a daily basis, how can I help you? What can I do to help you? And she's one of those people that you don't often have to ask to help from either seeing that there's a need for help in the cafeteria, showing up after hours to help Ms. Ruth uh, kind of foster our students on through the dinner lunch and lunch line, or it's that she sees we have new employees and all of us are completely consumed with duties that we don't have enough time to do what we wish we could do and kind of coming to the forefront and helping with that. But I'm here to proudly say that the award this year for excellence in service and student affairs goes to Ms. Sherry Helms, and she is my, one of my trusted colleagues. And I am blessed to be able to give two of these awards this year, uh, and this is for academic affairs. This particular employee is also one of those employees who will take on just about any particular task that he's asked to take on. Whether it's related to his job description or not, he's always willing to help. And he gets asked to do that a lot because he has incredible skills in a lot of areas. He has been here uh, as uh, an employee in enrollment management, but he's also worked in the Academic Center for Excellence in the Learning Commons. And if you've dropped by the Learning Commons recently, you can see the fruits of his labor in terms of the amazing leadership that he has brought to that role. We have a completely new design, literally, physically, in the Academic Center for Excellence, making it a much more open place for students to come a much more uh, integrated place in terms of collaboration across disciplines. And I'm pleased to announce that this year's award in academic affairs goes to Mr. Michael Moran. Next, for the Department of Business Affairs, Mr. Cliff Gay. <laughs> Let's get my little notes out here. Um, when this person, this person was hired about this time of the year in 2012 as the Auxiliary Services Director, when she arrived on campus, we immediately notified her that the contract with the food service vendor had been canceled and that uh, she had about two weeks to hire staff, order food, and make plans to feed the 200 students in housing. <laughs> uh, we were really happy that she didn't immediately resign at that time and go back, <laughs> but uh, she stayed and uh, with some assistance from others, the students were fed. And that number has now grown to over 400 students that are fed daily uh, by our dining services. One other thing that I might add, my waistline has grown over that time, and she's at least <laughs> partly responsible for that. Uh, when she took over dining services, I list two requirements, have good food and pay the bills. And she's done a really amazing job at both. <coughs> this is really an accomplishment because most colleges do not operate their own dining services, and those that do are usually not profitable, but ours you know, the food has been good and she pays the bills and, and does a really great job. 
Ruth probably spends more time, more hours on campus than any other employee and works tirelessly to ensure the success of dining services. Please join me in congratulating Ruth Underwood on her selection as a Business Affairs uh, Star Award recipient for 2018. All right, for our Department of Information Technology, Mr. Mike Roundtree. A little bit of adjustment while we're up here. Um, to those of you who are new to East Georgia State College, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm Mike Roundtree, VP for IT. Uh, the mental picture that may come to most people's minds when they think of individuals who work in the, choose to work in the field of IT is probably someone who is a recluse and is perfectly uh, content with sitting behind or sitting in a cubicle staring at a computer monitor for endless hours. And that picture certainly doesn't describe the staff in East Georgia's IT unit, and it certainly doesn't uh, describe this year's IT star employee recipient. On the contrary, this person, she does not shy away from uh, social interaction with a gift for making people feel at ease when they ask for assistance with IT issues. This individual is well-rounded and makes one feel like their problem is a top priority. On a professional level, this person not only excels in the area of IT, but also assumes roles that take her outside the IT unit. For example, having been a part of the Having been part of the unit for IT in the IT unit for nearly five years as an application analyst at EGSC Statesboro, she currently serves on East Georgia staff council and brings to that council energy and dedication. I truly believe she finds fulfillment in helping others, especially our students and our employees. And if I had to choose one word that best describes her, it would be splendiferous. And. <laughs> I think everyone would and agree with me on that. Please join me in congratulating Trevor Johnson as this year's star employee for IT. All right, for institutional advancement, Elizabeth Gilmer. <laughs> I can't imagine who's making all that noise, but that's all right. Um, thank you for the opportunity to do this. In institutional advancement, we have, um, we've learned to be Frugal, Hatton we Cliff, frugal. We have got um, very few people, um, smallest department on campus, uh, but we get an awful lot done. And we do that by being um, innovative in the way we do things. And I'll be honest with you, when um, Norma first had this idea, the only reason I was okay with it was because it was Norma's idea. And Norma never has led me in the wrong direction in all the years I've known her. So when she said we needed to allow this person to work remotely, I thought, okay, 
she's awful young. Do you think she's disciplined enough? Do you think? And she has proven me absolutely, she, she's been perfect. Um, any doubts I might have had have been completely washed away because Courtney Powers is probably one of the most disciplined young ladies I've ever known. Um, she gets her work done. She understands what we're trying to do. She understands our mission, our vision, our brand, and she incorporates that into every graphic design that she comes up with. Um, we can send her something. In fact, last week, I thought, I'm going to time her and just see how quickly. And I said, Courtney, can you give me something? And I, I just wrote it in the email. Fifteen minutes later, I had three different possibilities of a design to go with. So her excellence in her discipline, the innovative way that she does things. Um, the only regret I have is that we don't see her. She lives in Florence, South Carolina. And so luckily she was able to be here today. So our star staff award goes to Courtney Powers. Next for business operations, Michelle Goff. I'm not sure if she's here. I haven't seen her. Um, our star award is someone who came to me by accident and I think um, a lot of prayers followed her when she came to work for me because people told her she probably needed them. Um, we have passed this person around. She came to work originally for Mary and Jack Bearford years ago. Um, we transitioned her when their department went away. We transitioned her to facilities plan, uh, scheduling. She did that for a few years and did a remarkable job. Um, and then we said we really need somebody to take over purchasing, and we gave it to Karen, and she has just excelled with that. So, Karen, I don't think you're in here. I have no idea where you are, but <laughs> I'll make sure she gets this. I know she's, they're moving her daughter. Um, Madison works for Disney. Nope, no, nope. that, she was relieved at 11. So, she might have, I, I don't know where she is. Something might have come up. They're moving Madison to Florida, so um, I'm sure she'll appreciate this, and we appreciate her. For athletics, Charles Wimberly. Good afternoon, Bobcat Nation. How are you? Man, Elizabeth Gilmer gets better than I do. Come on now, all them emails I send every one of y'all. Y'all can't get me better than that. Bobcat Nation, how are you? Um, to each one of you in each department uh, here at the school, I just want to say first off to Dr. Bomer and to each one of you in the staff and some of you in Augusta and Statesboro, uh, you guys, um, y'all mean a lot to our athletic program and to me personally. And I just want to say for each one of you, thank you for all that you do to help these young people. If you saw Dr. Bomer's speech this morning, uh, there's roughly around 75 kids, almost 500 now, that have come through, and this will be season number nine for athletics. Uh, I'm proud to say there's a young man named Richard Lovelady that right now is on the docket to be uh, called up to the major leagues, uh, to the big show. So that's a good thing. Uh, Richard played here at East Georgia State College, and uh, it just tells you the, the, the pride that we have and what we're doing uh, with our kids. Um, my star for my department uh, this year is a young man that come from uh, Kansas. Uh, he probably one of the best recruiters, 
becoming probably well known throughout the nation, is probably one of the best recruiting coaches that there is. Um, what has he done the last three years here? Well, his first year here as assistant coach, we finally won more games than we lost. The second year here, we won a conference as an assistant coach. And in this past season as a head coach, uh, that took over a duty that uh, on uh, August the 12th, we uh, lost a head coach, and I had to name someone on the very next day. And uh, for Dusty Hess, you've done an amazing job for our athletic program and for our baseball team. He signed 11 kids to play the di uh, Division I baseball from last season's team to this year going to other schools, which is totally amazing. The next thing is I watched seven young men at our graduation in the spring off the baseball program walk across that stage and get a diploma. Those are the things that we're all here about. I think uh, one of the, the, the things that people sometimes miss out on because I'm one of those people. If it wasn't for athletics, I wouldn't have an education. It's just that simple. I wouldn't. So please keep in mind as you hear the uh, Bobcat Nation and you get tired of all my emails, just understand that I'm doing it for a group of kids. And if you see one of those kids and you can touch one of those lives, that's what we're all in this room for. So at this time, if I my star for the athletic department for our baseball program, Mr. Dusty Hess, if you would please come forward. Thank you for all you do. For our Statesboro campus, presenting this award is Jessica Williamson. Hi everyone, can you hear me? I'm a little soft spoken, so. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and make Noah come stand up here and uh, show off that fresh suit he has on. <laughs> um, in my opinion, a successful organization or department um, strongly depends on the bond in which the people within it have the and the the level of respect and trust that we have for each other um, and Statesboro definitely has that going for us am I right Statesboro yeah. okay. right. Um, you know you need a team that is complementary of each other um, because y'all may not know this but all directors don't know everything all right so you know you need a team that picks up where you lack and uh, my assistant director here is definitely complimentary to me. Um, so, hence this award going to him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For our Augusta campus, presenting the award, Nick Kelch. All right. <laughs> All right, so um, our Augusta Campus star recipient, uh, she actually started with us back in uh, fall of 2016 as a temp hire. And uh, we were so thankful that a position came open for her uh, and we were able to make her full time. Um, <clears throat> if I could describe her in one word, it would be real. Uh, she's reliable, she's encouraging, uh, she's been very adaptable, and she's been life-changing. Life-changing for our office, as well as life-changing for the folks that she works with uh, individually. Uh, so with that being said, I'd like to congratulate Ms. Katressa Wilson.
All right, let's give all our Star Awards a hand. <laughs> Almost done. Okay, our final award is presented to faculty members who have been noted for being innovative in their classroom instruction, committed to student success, and contributes to the mission and goals of East Georgia State College. To make these presentations, we will have the deans of these schools, um, and we'll first start with Dr. Cheek for the School of Humanities and Social Sciences. Thank you very much, and as the Dean of the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, who represent two-thirds of the faculty, two-thirds of the curriculum, we have a lot of very good people to, to, among us. Um, I'm going to award, I'm going to just follow person by person. The first award a recipient was the model uh, for the movie, recent movie, Wonder Woman. Uh, uh, she is uh, a sort of iron-like figure. Um, what um, Aristotle called a spudaios, somebody who's strong, slightly uh, military, uh, tough. This person also has a great deal of charity because almost every day when uh, Miss Page and I sneak and, and have a Fritos, Cheetos moment, uh, this person does not look at us even though they're going to run 10 miles in a few minutes after we eat our Cheetos. Uh, this person has been instrumental in developing and growing uh, one of the more vital programs in the history of the college, our FISA program. I would like to recognize and award uh, uh, Ms., uh, Professor Beverly Walker. Our second award winner is a really American success story. Um, born barefoot uh, <laughs> and in swaddling clothes in the backwaters of Mississippi, this person almost reached their career goal of becoming a televangelist. But unfortunately, he only became Baptist minister. Um, when I came to East Georgia as dean, I said, this is an ABD that may be a permanent status, which is the worst thing that you ever want to encounter as a dean. I was very wrong. This person has become one of our, and one of our best teachers, one of our best professors. He's become a remarkable scholar. He's published several books now, including a, le including a leading study of a very prominent figure in 20th century Mississippi history and has become really a leader on campus and a model of affability. And this next award winner is Dr. Jeff Howe. Our next award recipient, um, even though a follower of the medieval doctrine of humanitas, the elevation of the humanities, enlivening of the humanities, uh, he's also an alchemist. Uh, he has many skills. One of them is, I was hoping was to turn water into wine uh, because the final product is of such value. And unfortunately, he can only turn uh, grease into a mo mode of operating a vehicle. Uh, he's been at East Georgia for a long time. He came to us from Gordon College. Uh, he never meets a person that he does not like. He exemplifies his own academic work as a teacher of speech in every way, relating to all kinds of people wherever they find themselves. And I'd like to recognize Professor Ronald Ellison. The last recipient is certainly not the least uh, today, and this, uh, this lady had an early childhood goal of being the first female Elvis imitator. 
again, is one of these stories that did not work out, at least not to perfection, but her uh, enduring love of the South and the South's literature still guides her today. And um, while she gave up on Elvis and moved to Faulkner, uh, which is uh, probably, uh, probably a good move uh, for a variety of reasons, uh, she has been an incredibly hard worker as a faculty member at East Georgia State College serving on the faculty senate, serving in every, almost every function she's been asked, playing a key role in the revising of many of our policies, as well as continuing to work very diligently as a scholar, and especially in Faulkner studies and in uh, studies of the uh, liter literature of the American South, and it is my great honor to award our next recipient, uh, Dr. Wren Denton. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, for the School of Math Science, Dr. Jimmy Wedekamp. Before I begin, I'd like to make a brief announcement. Uh, Dr. Cheek has agreed to provide the massages after this event. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do that, Dr. G. <clears throat> I'd, like <laughs> I'd like to say that I am truly humbled to come to work every day at East Georgia and work with a terrific faculty of math science. It's a very difficult uh, choice to pick who's the star for, the, for this year. We have such an incredible faculty. Uh, they work very hard. Uh, work together well, and I'm just so proud of the direction that the, the uh, school is taking. And uh, let me begin. I'd like to start with the Statesboro Campus Award, Distinguished Faculty Award. For the Statesboro Campus, uh, we chose Mina Vora this year. Mina, if you'll go ahead and come on down. <clears throat> Mina was chosen as a Governor's Teaching Fellow this year. That's a very distinguished award. She's been participating in the workshops all year long. And the goal of this fellowship is to improve the instruction uh, in the USG. And I must say that Mina has the absolute highest success rates in her statistics courses. Just incredible, and she's very rigorous. Uh, believe me, because I, I talk with her students oftentimes. <laughs> but the success, the success rates are just phenomenal. She has participated in a great deal of professional development. Uh, she's, uh, this past year, participated in a uh, diversity workshop in biostatistics in Washington, D.C. Uh, she's participated in a modern math workshop in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, we're just very happy to have Mina with us and look forward to great things. <clears throat> the next recipient for the Distinguished Faculty of the Year Award goes to David Brown for the Augusta campus. David, if you'll come on down. <clears throat> David came to us from the technical college side. He, he has a, I think, Oconee Fall Line Technical College. He lot, has a lot of experience dealing with uh, underprepared students. And I've, I've asked him to do a lot of different assignments. Uh, he travels quite a bit from Cross Creek to Augusta to Swainsboro and he has never once complained about it. He always pitches in and does a fantastic job. And uh, the students absolutely love what he does in, in the classroom, has very good success rates, 
and uh, we're just happy to have David as a faculty member in math science. <clears throat> the Distinguished Faculty of the Year Award for the Swainsboro campus goes to Candace Lynn. Candace, if you'll walk, come on down. <clears throat> Candace Lynn is another one of those faculty members that pitches in anytime you need assistance uh, with anything. She has an excellent service record. She's participating in the John N. Gardner Institute, uh, the G2C initiative. She's a leader in that regard. She's done a lot of work in restructuring and uh, her algebra course. And uh, she's participating, participated in the Teaching and Learning Academy, the Devising Academy, and the Momentum Year Summit. Uh, anytime I need any help with anything, Candace is always willing to step up and provide assistance, and I really do appreciate that. Thank you, Candace. <clears throat> 